Black Myth Wukong is a game that has taken the gaming industry by storm. It's broken numerous records and is even being considered for game of the year. When I saw the reviews and the comparisons and all the positive feedback the game was getting, I just knew I had to go out and get the platinum myself. Little did I know, this would be my hardest challenge yet. Yes, that means you too. In the beginning of this journey, I was very happy and excited. But by the end, well... Let's just say, mentally... I wasn't doing too well. <laughs> fucking god, bro. Oh, I'm so fucking sick of these stupid ass fucking stupid fucking enemies, bro. Oh, I'm so fucking sick of them, bro. I'm so I'm so fucking tired of these little fucking tiny enemies, bro, with no fucking importance, relevance, or health whatsoever, bro, and they're so fucking overpowered because the game wants to fucking be difficult. From joy to rage to tears, here's how I got the platinum trophy on Black Myth Wukong with no fingers. The game starts you off as Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is the Monkey King who rebels against the heavens and has this sick ass intro fight with this guy named Erlang. Okay guys, so bear with me on these names as I'm probably gonna be pronouncing most of them wrong for the remainder of this video. This intro is definitely a top 3 for me when it comes to PS5 games, with the other two being God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man 2, which are platinums I do plan on getting in the future. But after the intro, we now become the Destined One who is basically just the incarnation of Sun Wukong and we have to go out and collect his 6 relics. In doing that, we get our first trophy as well, and we start our journey into chapter one. Home is behind! First trophy! The old monkey has told his tale. Onward, you must go. Yes, sir. Chapter one starts with us running through the forest. We got this old looking gremlin guy here guiding us through the paths and end up running into the bull guard. Our very first boss. The boss fights in this game are quite entertaining for the most part. There were certain ones who provided an immense amount of stress, but more on that later. We also got a trophy for spending our first spark, or skill point if you want to call it. Ah, a spark of thought. Nothing sparks your talent more than a spark of thought. Yes, sir. Getting past the bull guard leads us to Guangxi and the Wandering White. Now Guangxi we took care of no problem. Took a couple of tries, but we got him down. The Wandering White, on the other hand, had different plans for me. Since I've never really played a game like this before, these boss fights were pretty new to me. Here's how it ended. Oh my god, I'm in the air! Yeah, we gotta come back to him. This one choice right here would cost me dearly, as the Wandering White drops a spirit when he dies that allows you to transform into him and deal massive damage. He also provides a defensive buff for you as well. Unfortunately for me, I had to come back for him in New Game Plus because he despawns after a certain point. We took that massive L, but one step backward equals two steps forward because we one shot at this boss and run into the Shen Monkey, who allows us to upgrade our gourd and get better healing capabilities. This gives us another trophy. Oh, got a trophy. Brew of Bravery. Fresh brew in an old cast. Make it stir a great task. W use. At this point in the game is when I started to get in just a little bit of trouble. This next boss, the white clad noble, well he had a point to prove then he used your boy as an example. I realized this game takes trial and error and he was the first to show me that. Courage alone. Oh my god, dude. Deny me. Fuck God, bro. This fucking guy is fucking annoying, bro. He is so annoying, bro. Like, how are you supposed to beat him? That makes no sense. However, we eventually make quick work of him as well. Please. Let's fucking 
fucking go, man. Finally. I got him. Fucking W. <laughs> it's only two phases, chat. It's only two. It, it better be fucking two. No ill will, I bet. Behind this guy is a bell, and it's actually the last bell of three that were scattered across the map, and ringing this bell takes us to a secret area to fight this big bobble-headed ass motherfucking creature, Elder Jinchi. He was a pain in my ass. Fuck, man. Oh, Jinchi, you're annoying as hell, bro. You know that? You are annoying as hell. Are you fucking kid? Oh my fucking goodness, bro. I was. Oh. He's so annoying, bro. Like, f defeating him popped his trophy. Let's, let's fucking go, man. Temple of Tank, get that shit out of here, bro. Stupid ass Genshi, give me that shit, man. Let's go. W's. This leaves only two bosses left in Chapter One, and they're both the same guy. This guy right here, I call him Bear Man. He goes from this to this in a matter of one hike. Because this game wants to be my 13th reason, it made sure to have me struggle against his human form and not the Charmin Bear when he's all out of toilet paper. Just watch the tape. Bro, like he literally just took off my fucking health before. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> bro, who is this fucking guy, man? Like, oh my god, bro. Just, I not. This one was one of the least memorable fights, as it was dog water. But we end up whipping his ass and getting to the top of this mountain. The game couldn't make this easy though either. Yeah, this shit's starting to get annoying, bro. This, this is these little fucking shits, bro. Like this, these are so aggravating, brother. Can y'all fuck off, seriously, bro? Can y'all fuck off? Can y'all fuck off? Can y'all fuck off? There's literally nothing I can do against these fucking arrows, bro. Like, there's literally nothing. Once at the top, it was time for the actual big bear fight, but he was dealt with fairly quickly. His defeat pops another trophy for us and ends chapter one. Get the fuck out of here, fam! Blazing black wind, man. Let's fucking go, bro. What this fucking bear thought, man? I'm telling you. Give me that. Chapter 2 begins with this headless guy playing a banjo while we wake up in this hot ass desert. Sounds like a bad acid trip. Anywho, we make our way through this area and we run into the next boss, Kermit.
not ready for me. Cooking them, cuz. You feel me? Come on, now. He ain't ready for me, my boy. Killing Kermit put us in good graces with Zoo Dog, who teaches us how to make medicine and gives us another trophy. Oh, creative concoction. Tonics are well and good, but not to be wolf like food. W trophy. Let's go. Now there's two bosses in Chapter 2 who are the only two really worth talking about. They wake up and choose violence. I'm not sure what the devs were thinking during these designs, cause this was not okay. These two bosses being the Tiger Vanguard and the Yellow Wind Sage. Now the Yellow Wind Sage is the end boss, so we'll get to him later. But the Tiger Vanguard. The Tiger fucking Vanguard. <laughs> this cat showed me just how hard pussy can hit. Roll the footage. <laughs> Damn it! Bro, I couldn't cast no spells, man. Fuck, man! Oh my god, bro! You gotta be kidding me, bro! Come on, bro. Like, I don't even have enough time to jump in the air, fam. Where do you... Like, bro, this is what I'm talking about. Like, where does that come from? Bro. 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 We gotta fucking talk about this. You see what I'm fucking taught? Like, bro, he comes out of nowhere with just the craziest combos. They all me, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Where did, like, bro, he's so predictable up until you get his health to 20. They all oh, I almost punched my fucking desk, dude. I almost punched my fucking desk. Oh my god, I almost did, bro. I almost did. Ooh, my god, that just fucking pissed me off, bro. All I had to do was immobilize him. How this little fucker comes from this fucking thing blows my mind. This boss fight was so unhinged so that when I finally did kill him, best believe I was very hyped. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I lived. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Let's go, man! Let's fucking go! Stop using the fucking chat, bro! Let's go! The next annoying little nuisance was the bridge fight with this tiger acolyte. Again. Who the fuck thought of this? Oh my fucking good. Bro. Bro, I'm actually dying to this fucking boss, bro. I'm actually dying to this fucking boss. A mini boss. A mini boss. A fucking mini boss. A mini boss. A mini boss. A fucking mini boss. Bro, press triangle. Like, let me press my heavy attacks, man. Shit makes no, and then he throws me off a fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whose ever idea it was to put this boss fight on this bridge is a real fucking genius. <laughs> Chapter 2 does have some interesting side quests, though. We see ourselves fighting rats and pigs, and even this big electric guy who had this annoying ass electrical wave to dodge. But a really cool boss was this big beetle, Fubon. Fubon is odd because you can only really attack his claw, and he's quite agile for his size. Killing him does give us a trophy, though. Let's go! Get his ass out of here, man. W's. Let's go! W trophy! Let's fucking go, man! W's!
The only boss left was, you guessed it, the Yellow Wind Sage. God, please, no! 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 I almost beat his ass on my first time, too. Whoa! What the hell was that? First try. That was first try. I had no fucking potions on nothing, bro. The subsequent attempts after uh didn't go so well. Come on, man. I'm dodging that. Damn it, bro. I'm trying to fucking heal, man. Come on, man. Drink the health. Drink the health, bro. Drink the health. What is happening? Oh, what's going on? He's just picking me up! What the fuck was that? I was getting so close too, bro. Fuck. He must have not known that I'm a gamer though, so here's how we left him. Killing him popped the trophy for completing chapter 2. Let's go, man! Let's fucking go! A great gust! Let's go! There will be more sages if their maker still engages, man. Let's fucking go! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh my god, chat. Oh my goodness. Woo! What up, Scott? Scott? Skydro? How you doing, brother? Oh my god. We are now in chapter 3. Chapter 3 is definitely the longest in the game. It has the Destined One going through a snowy tundra and a whole new host of enemies. Enemies that caused me severe aneurysms. Oh my god, bro, oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god! Oh, this is gonna fucking piss me off, bro! Oh, this is so fucking annoying, bro. This is so fucking dumb, I can't fucking express to you how fucking stupid this fucking shit is, bro. Yeah, chapter three was the beginning of the end for my sanity. <laughs> The first boss of chapter 3 is this monkey fellow with a staff. He wasn't too bad, but the bosses after that though were a bit tougher. Specifically, I'm talking about this dragon, Kang Jin Long. Now Kang Jin Long hit like a tank, but she didn't have much health. She just kept catching me at the perfect moments. <laughs> Bro, how am I supposed to beat this motherfucker? Don't fucking get me, bro! Oh my god! 
You got to be shitting me, dog. That's fucking bullshit. Wow, bro, look at his fucking health! Bro, how is that? <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking weak, bro! There's no fucking way, bro! This form, however, has nothing on the other form, because if Raiden and Storm had a baby, it'd be this bitch. We started off hot too, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm fucking dodging them. Oh my god, Kang, you're so annoying. I'm dodging them, chat. Remember the fucking combo, Brandon. You gotta remember the combo, bro. You gotta remember the combo. You got to. You got to. Misery finally came to an end when I locked it. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! What the fuck? Monkeys are in their way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Still okay. You lucky there's no fucking round two. Oh, you're fucking gold. lucky there's no round two. Is there a round two? After we killed her, we got this sick ass cutscene and finally met an essential character in Sun Wukong's and the Destin One story. Zhu Baji. Now, Zhu was a man who was once transformed into a pig as punishment from the gods because he tried banging a moon goddess. He eventually becomes an ally of Sun Wukong, which eventually leads us here on this cold-ass floating turtle. Before we can leave this floating turtle, we had to go and kill Cyan Long, another boss. This is a boss that I can honestly say is god-awful. Ass. That, that one move is very annoying. Oh, why is he harder than the actual story boss? Why? You would think the story boss is hard. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm dod I'm dodging that, bro. I'm fucking dodging it. If I don't dodge the swipe, he'll swipe me with the lightning. If I don't fucking dodge the lightning, the lightning will fucking hit me, bro. It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense, bro. It makes no fucking sense. It makes none. Zero. Zero. Look, look, if I- Oh, this is gonna fucking piss me off. Oh, this is gonna fucking piss me off, bro. This is gonna piss me off. Explain to me how he can just break out of Immobilize. And every other fucking time I face him, doesn't break out of it. The one time it matters! Let's just say it was another Super Bowl-esque celebration when I finally killed him. Dead. Done. Zero. Done! Fuck you! Ooh, you're lucky I don't got a middle finger, bro. Oh my god, that was awful. We jump off the turtle and we make our way through this lake. Now the lake provides a special side quest. There's this dragon named Chen Long who we have to defeat. After beating him, he asks for a specific pill that Zoo Dog can make so he can take it and not worry about dying. We bring him this pill and he gives us access to this village where all the vendors in one game sit around and take your money essentially. At this village you can upgrade your armor with the blacksmith, the Yin Tiger. You can also challenge him to a duel. Here's how smooth that went for me. I'm fucking course he does! 
Oh my! I'm gonna get off. 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 One of the worst fucking boss fights by far. Absolutely unnecessary. The village does have some positive news as we're able to pop two trophies here for upgrading the armor we had and harvesting seeds. Just because that makes the most sense. Pound and perfect. Let's go. Through fire, armor is refined. Through trials, strength is defined. W trophy. Alright, so when I harvest these ingredients, I should get a trophy. Now, one second, really quickly. And... Bam! Let's go! Happy harvest! Fields kept trim, leave time to skim. What does that mean? Chapter 3 sees more annoying bosses like Non Able with his crazy ass kicks, or Captain Lotus Vision with these annoying ass lasers. None, however, were more annoying in this chapter than Yellowbrow. Yellowbrow was the end boss and had three phases during his boss fight. Thank God they put checkpoints in between each phase, because if they didn't, I might have actually put my head through this monitor. Even with the checkpoints, Buddy was still folding me. Slow down? Can you just slow down? Bro, I, I can't, bro. I, I can't. I mean, this was worse than a guy having a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube. Okay. Maybe not that bad. After many, many attempts and 48 minutes of me crying, I finally got him. Got him. Let's fucking go. Let's go, man. Got my trophy too. Let's fucking go, bro. Nifty nonsense. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh my god, that shit just pissed me off, bro. Let's fucking go, man. I was halfway through the game by this point and was ready to dive straight into chapter 4. Arachnophobes, look away. Chapter 4 starts off in this nice village, but that quickly changes after this first boss fight as we get thrown in these caves with spiders who kept giving me a heart attack. The enemies got me to levels of anger I have not hit in quite some time. This, oh my fucking god, bro! <laughs> bro! Aside from that, this chapter wasn't too bad. Zoo gets hit with his needle, which gives us this annoying ass boss fight against him in this mud, and I had to break this guy's four arms to get a missable armor piece. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. The secret area in this chapter is utterly ridiculous, though. The Scorpion Lord and Dust Veil boss fights, I think, are just absolutely unnecessary considering what we have to deal with at the end of the chapter. Here's how the Scorpion Lord fight went for me. Fucking go, man! Fuck this fucking guy, bro. And here's how the Dust Veil fight went. Got him. Third time's a charm. Fucking ass. However, I am very happy I went and fought Dustvale because defeating him gives us this little needle, which is absolutely essential in the final boss fight for this chapter. It also gives us this trophy as well. Let's go, the cockerel crowed. Long and short, far and near. Each span has its year. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Finally, a third of the trophy's done. Even with the needle, the chapter 4 boss still gave me a headache. Here's what happened. Oh, can you stop going on the ground, fam? Fuck! 
Bro, that shit's so fucking- Oh my god. Oh my god, fam! When I finally learned how to use that needle against him, it was over. Bitch! Come on. Come on. Give it to me. That's me. That's me! Let's That's me! See, the trick for anyone out there struggling is to use the needle after he swallows his sword. I'm oh, losing. God damn. I'm my losing. Brother. And he will return to his normal phase. Once we kill them, we got this trophy. Let's go! Come down, Let's go! Chapter 5 sees the Destined One going through a volcanic region and has my ass ready to crash out. From giant flaming carts to these annoying ass rocks and shield enemies, I was fully convinced I was beginning to lose my mind. And then you, you follow me, bro. You fucking follow me, because you have nothing better to do, bro. Bro, I'm getting so fucking annoyed. I'm getting fed the fuck up. Oh, I'm getting fucking fed up, bro. I really fucking am, man. This next double boss fight genuinely almost made me lose my shit. Look at the receipts. Come the fuck on, dude. Like, die already. Thank you. Come on, man. Gotta hit that spirit. I won't lie. The game definitely had me at the point of no return, but after many failed attempts, the impossible suddenly seemed possible. Done. I can't believe. <laughs> don't worry though, the issues don't stop there because look what happened next. Oh, you He's still alive! Look, look at his health! Look at his health! That's just wicked. After suffering through that misery, we continued through the chapter going through this annoying ass puzzle and making it to the secret area to fight this wild animal. The guy that I was following hyped this boss up as difficult, but I took him down in one try and got a trophy for it. Gotta let's fucking go, man. First fucking try. Let's go. Frost and flame. The merging of ice and fire, swift and severe. We got another trophy. Another trophy. Yet, 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 yes, we did. Now, throughout the game, we have meditation spots, which is when you visit them, they basically give you a free spark or a free skill point. And when you get all the meditation spots in all the chapters, you get a trophy for this. We got our trophy after visiting the last one in chapter five. Chapter five had a lot of cool bosses. The giant rock and floating heads really stood out to me. None, however, stood out more than the Chapter 5 end boss, Red Boy. This motherfucker here gave me hell and had me questioning life. Life itself. <laughs> Bro. Thankfully, I was able to dish it back, and here's what happened. Man, yes, bro. Defeating him gave us two trophies, one for killing him, and one for collecting all the treasures in the game. There's only four of them, and they're not that difficult to find, so there isn't much to this. Let's fucking go, man. Flaming Fury, the golden child, brought fire and smoke. When they cleared, the family broke. 
fight it all. Got some broke bitches, man. That's what happens when you step up to the king, man. The monkey king. What's wrong it's with you? Vengeance. Let's Way go, brother. Your family. Oh, treasure trove. Ah, I got all the vessels. Let's go. We got another trophy. Chapter 6 is the final chapter in the game and sees the destined one travel to the Monkey King's turf, Mount Hugao. Hugao. Hugao? I don't know how to say that. I'm never attempting that again. <laughs> Basically, right in the beginning of the chapter, we fight the one thing I don't have. A hand. <laughs> the Supreme Inspector is another boss I've seen a lot of players struggling with. Here's how our first attempt went. Took me one try to beat him. Just, just one. Yes! 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 One fucking try, man! Let's fucking go, bro! Let's go! I'm him. Moving on, we have to go around the map and fight the four major bosses so we can collect Wukong's armor and finally become who the Destined One is meant to be. Before going for these bosses, I managed to pop a trophy for killing Kermit. Damn, this frog's annoying as hell, bro. Can I heal? I just wanna fucking heal, dude. Got him! Oh my god, that was horrible! Let's go, the clamor of frogs. What do we get? Six frogs, six kills. How intriguing. So that's for killing every boss in the game. Or every frog boss in the game, excuse me. And for killing this boss known as Yellow Long. Or also known as a thorn in my ass. Clearly can't fucking do it, bro. I'm about to punch this fucking monitor, man. I really am, bro. I'm getting so fucking close to punching this monitor, bro. Please. That's game. This is me. Yes, man. Let's go. Whoop that ass. The sire and sons. For what deed must the four waters they govern Our roam free? Was hung Got him. The celestial court. Let's go, we man. Halfway the there. Now, the four bosses in chapter six gave me some trouble. This Ice Deer and Rhino were annoying but manageable. The other one was this Mantis who wasn't too bad either. This one boss fight was quite strange though. Oh my god. Did I get it? Look at my stamina. Bro, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so I have to keep holding them. Oh my god. Come on, dude, you're gonna live? Oh, I lived. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were thinking with that one. <laughs> yeah, boy. After collecting the four pieces of armor, the only thing we needed was the infamous staff, which we found just a bit later.
Putting the full fit on gave us this trophy here. Oh, Guardian of the Gear. Or Guardian of Gear. You are fully fitted. Now swing that staff and fight. W. This brings us to the final boss. The Stone Monkey and the Great Sage Monkey Shell. Basically Wukong. It's a four phase boss fight that only holds a checkpoint after the first two phases. This fight went about as well as you think it did. Oh my god, fucking dodge that, man. Come on, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, come on, fam. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I struggled in literally every phase. But at least give me a fucking chance to stand up, bro. Like, come the fuck on, man. Apparently, he's supposed to disappear. He's not disappearing. He's not disappearing. He's not disappearing. I have to actively stay fighting him for him to disappear. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. Of course, dude. A fucking course, man! Oh my fucking god, this is pissing me off, bro. I honestly didn't think I could beat him. Bro, why am I being thrown in the fucking air, man? Like, what the fuck? He's being hit. Look, like, what the fuck? It. I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm done. Please! I literally went through several builds and videos and guides just to see how I can take him down. Then suddenly, while on a practice run, this happened. Please! Yes! Yes! Bro took me 12 rounds in the boxing ring and he won 11. I have never been more humbled like that until facing that fucking monkey. Caesar ain't got shit on Wukong. Defeating him gets us this ending and this trophy. Yes! We got him! Let's go, kid! We got him! We weren't completely out of the woods yet, though, because this game does have a secret ending. If you return to chapter 3 after defeating the stone monkey and completing all other secret areas in each chapter, then you can enter the chapter 3 hidden area and fight the true final boss. Erlang, the four heavenly kings, and Erlang Shen. The hardest of the three was definitely Erlang. The other two were a bit more gimmicky because you're this giant stone monkey which made it a lot more tolerable. Erlang, however, did not let me forget just how hard this game was. How many ghosts? Hold the path. Bury his mind. That me. boy just hit me with a fucking WWE know. move, bro. That was that was wicked. That's. And now I see. It. I don't know what's going on. Like there's a there's, it's a 10 20 hit combo, bro. Like what the fuck, man? That shit is so fucking annoying, bro.
Fuck, I'm so sick of this fucking game, man. Bro, look at this man's combo, fam. He's still fucking going, bro. He is still going. He's still fucking going, bro. He's still going on this combo. Who, who designed this, bro? Tell, I want their fucking name, bro. I need to talk to them, bro. Because why? 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 Why, bro? It's so fucking dumb, bro. It's so dumb, bro. It's so fucking dumb, bro. Knows every stir of your mind. Oh, I'm, I'm dodging it, fam. Goodness, bro. Like, I, I. Many ass whoopings later, I had to remind Erlang that every once in a while. Your destiny brought you. Yes! Yes! Hold on! Today's clash didn't satisfy my spirit. Boy. Oh wow. Let's go. Holy fucking hell, that was wicked. Bitch made nah nah some Wukong baby in the flesh. Oh he poking too. Oh that shit hurt. Oh shit. Oh, this is brutal. That was nasty. Beating the fuck out of him. Oh my god. Oh my lanta. You got it, bro. Boom! Give me my trophy, man. W's. We got his ass. Let's fucking go. Meet the match. Let go of him and you let go of all. Fuck that, Let's go, guys. Fucking W, man. Let's go. I'm still him. We now have all story-related trophies in the game, and it's time for everybody's favorite part of trophy hunting. The cleanup. The Platinum on this game does require at least two playthroughs due to certain items only being available in New Game Plus and also not having enough materials for other items in your first playthrough. For some it takes longer, but I wasn't trying to do more than two playthroughs, so for this cleanup phase, I did everything remotely possible before going into New Game Plus. Can I just say that the RNG and collectible grind in this game is criminal. 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 You have to pick plants to get seeds that spawn every 30 minutes, or get random drops from enemies that are completely based off luck. It's the dumbest shit ever, but nonetheless, it must be done. We got our first cleanup trophies for collecting all the celestial pills around the map and collecting every seed in the game. Ah, medicine meal. Here, have it. Have it all. Yes! Seeds to soul! We fucking got it! Let's go, man! Oh my god, finally, dude! Yes! We then started our new game plus playthrough, and right at the beginning, we got three trophies for collecting all six relics, 
registering every entry in our journal, and learning every spell. Six senses secured. After all that strife and struggle, what's truly been gained? Such uh, thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, portraits perfected. Human beast, y'all guys, and the body sattvas. All recorded and noted. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We got another one. All spells we know are derived from the same source. Let's fucking go. Are there any more? After replaying chapter two, we got the trophy for getting every formula page. So, remigration rem pill. Interesting. Trophy pop. Yay, page preserver. All the tattered pages can now be compiled in full. Let's go. Uh, we got all the formulas, so that ends that trophy grind. Thank God. And we then got to chapter 3 and got the trophy for getting every Kyrios item. God, I spent too long looking for you, dude. Auspicious Lantern, a Curious Collection. Every rare wonder every rare wonder the world can offer, collected and kept. Big W's. Wrong counter. Oh no, that was the right counter. Oopsie. Big W's, man. Let's go. We got every Kyrios in the game. Oh, finally. Finally. Next, we finally got a trophy for collecting every drink, gourd, and soak in the game. Oh, wow. We got a trophy. That wasn't supposed to pop. What to drink, how to drink, and above all, who to drink with. Brewer's Bounty. Let's go. My main focus on New Game Plus was talking to this horse and old man in each chapter because there were two side quests needed to get two separate trophies and let's just say at this point, the game had me ready to cry. The guy that I was following had completely different dialogue than my game and I was scared I needed another playthrough to finish this quest. Moving on to a chapter before speaking to each character locks the quest and you have to start over the entire game just to retry it. The old man gave me this nasty scare. The Bull King I got it. The Bull King accept families with a full. The Bull King families with a full. The Bull King accepted his oh, destiny, but family strife confounds even the wisest. Why should we meddle with a full? Oh wait, wait! Did I get it? Please. Supreme content. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! The last couple trophies had us collecting every armor piece and every staff in the game. Mantled with might. Shoes on feet, hat on head, embroidered shirt, diced robe, free as can be, doing as you please. Yes, sir. It's the last staff we need to get a trophy. Staff and spears. Yes, sir. A walking vault of, vault of arms you have become. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's go. We have all the weapons. The only thing left to do was to finish the horse quest line and get a trophy for it. Once we complete it, we get a spell as a reward, which gives us every trophy needed for the Platinum. Well, let's just say, <laughs> fireworks were in the air when I spoke to that horse. Or should I say, Platinums. My dad jokes are horrible. It's yours now. My journey of life. A fleeting dream. Dark thunder. In darkness, cunning changed. Urge unfulfilled. With my life, I'll repay the title he gave me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Three, two, one! Pero! Final fulfillment! We <laughs> baby Jesus, man! Thank you, oh my god! Oh, I finally did it, man! Let me hit that! Oh, 36 out of 36! Yes! 
Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God, we did it. Black Myth Wukong is a 10 out of 10, and I wouldn't be surprised if it wins Game of the Year. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments down below. It definitely provided a challenge for me though, as it's one of the hardest games I've done yet. If I can do it without a headset and without any fingers, you guys can do it too. So come on, there's no excuse to not get this platinum. With that being said though, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack that like button down below for me. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Expect more videos soon. It's been Brandon guys. Peace and love everyone. Take care.